Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about if Gucci sunglasses are worth the money. So in today's video, we are reviewing the Gucci GG0044SA. And this is a pair of Wayfair style sunglasses. So of course, it's a 100% authentic pair of Gucci sunglasses. However, they're actually not made by Gucci. Gucci doesn't actually produce any of their sunglasses at all. Over the past 20 years, they've actually been contracting them out through different companies. A lot of people think that Gucci is owned by Luxottica and they actually are not. The maker of Gucci sunglasses as of right now is actually Kering Eyewear and they make sunglasses for some other really high-end brands as well. But Gucci does not actually produce their own sunglasses. They actually sell the rights to make them to other optical companies. Now, as far as dimensions go, these have 53 millimeter lenses and an 18 millimeter bridge. And I really like the styling of these sunglasses on face. As we can see here in the top left corner of the sunglasses, they actually do say Gucci here on both the left and the right hand side. Now these sunglasses actually have polymer lenses which help keep the weight down. I really wish these did have glass lenses. I feel like they'd be a little bit more premium and nice like a pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfarers. Those all have glass lenses. These having Palmer lenses feel a little bit cheaper than the Ray-Ban Wayfarers. However, the frames on these are absolutely gorgeous and they're actually made from Optal material. Now, for those of you who don't know, Optal is a material that is 20% lighter than acetate, but has a lot of the same properties as far as look and feel go. Now, I'm not going to completely get into what Optal is, but there are some really cool features that I do want to talk about because I actually haven't reviewed a pair of sunglasses with Optal frames before. So one of the really coolest things about these is if you drop them on the cement and they get you know that big old scratch or scrape here on the top of the frames, you can actually remove that because they have self-healing properties. So if you heat them up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit to 260 degrees Fahrenheit, they will actually self-heal and they will get rid of that scrape. These frames are also UV resistant and that's really cool. So for an example, a pair of acetate sunglasses over time are going to degrade with UV lights. The frames are going to fade and they're eventually going to chip and be very weakened due to that UV exposure. These optal frames actually you don't have any issues with that whatsoever. Now what makes these a lot better than nylon is they have much truer to acetate looking tortoise frames. For example, Ray-Ban's tortoise nylon frames really don't look that good. They look very fake and they look very cheap and feel cheap as well. But here with Optal, you get much richer colors than you do with nylon. However, in my opinion, you really can't beat the actual look of a tortoise color or any color really in acetate, I always think that acetate has better colors, but these are a very, very good compromise. And the last thing I want to talk about Opto here is the fact that these sunglasses actually don't have to have a metal stem that runs through these sunglasses. So if a pair of acetate sunglasses, you really want a metal stem that runs there for rigidity purposes. But here with Opto, the frames are very, very strong and you can actually fully adjust these like you could with a metal stem on a pair of acetate sunglasses if you heat these up to again, 212 degrees. So you can easily adjust these to your face. When I actually got these in the mail, they were way too wide for my face so all I did is I heated these frames up and then I just bent them in and now they fit my face extremely well. These sunglasses are also going to have a Gucci logo here in the top right corner of the lens for authentication purposes. They also do have all metal hinges that feel very premium when opening them up and when closing them. These sunglasses are made in Italy so it's a Gucci made in Italy here in the inner left temple of the sunglasses and over here in the left hand side we can just see they have the serial number information lens size and bridge with. And then after that, they do say optal there because again, these do have optal frames. Now, as far as pricing goes, these are going to run you around $400, which is a lot of money considering what you are actually getting. I think there's about a $200, I would call it a Gucci tax here, where you're paying an extra $200 just because of the name on the pair of sunglasses rather than the actual quality of the frames. But with that being said, you can actually frequently find Gucci sunglasses much cheaper online. So sometimes on Amazon, for example, you can get these sunglasses and I actually did as well for only $200. And I think for $200, it's a very good pair of sunglasses. And again, they do have that Gucci name on that, which does definitely add some extra value if you're into that 
type of you know branding and designer you know goods and overall I think it's a decent pair of sunglasses that you guys are definitely going to enjoy and I, again I really do like the styling and I also really do like the beautiful colorway of uh, the frames as well. Well that's all I've got for you guys in this video. If you guys enjoyed it make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below and of course make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.